Hello, hello, I am Pastel, or Pastel Curry, as nobody calls me, but they call me Pastel, but not Pastel Curry, but my name, my, my, my username is Pastel, pretty much anyway. And welcome back to another speed paint. I bet you thought I disappeared again for another six months, but no, I did not. I'm, I'm really trying to do this YouTube thing with speed paint, but um, I, I just suck at like posting and like doing things on time and I also had school and stuff so like that also like delayed the process of this speed paint also when I put all the speed paint together I found out it was 30 hours long like in its original form but you guys are getting it in 20-ish minutes so good for you guys also I'm sorry for my rambling I don't make scripts I don't want to make scripts I probably should make scripts that's something for another time but I, I don't see the piece of that's another thing I probably should do. And here is a speed paint where I redesign the Wings Club characters. And if you don't know what the Wings Club, Wings Club is, it was a show that I personally watched on four, on four Kids, back when Four Kids was a thing. Is it still a thing? I don't know. And I loved it. I tried rewatching it during this, and I literally couldn't rewatch it. I, li I physically could not rewatch it because the voice acting didn't match the lips, and just the some of the voice acting was bad and it made me laugh and like snore at one point which is it was a very ugly snore like water went like through my nose and I was like oh my god and and some of the animation and I was kind of like and some of the plot points and characters I was like oh my god why did I like the show growing up but it, oh, it still holds a special place in my heart I think maybe I'm not sure I tried I tried rewatching it okay I tried rewatching it I don't know um so yeah, I took, as you know from this title, I took my a swing at redesigning the characters. I saw somebody else redesign the characters, and I was like, ooh, I want to try redesign the characters. So I tried redesigning the characters. Um, and I, and the first thing that came to mind when I wanted when I started the redesign was I wanted them all to have like their own original designs. And in their original original designs, they their outfits pretty much looked the same. You know, they all were sparkly, glittery out outfits, outfits that showed off their midriff, except for like Flora's and Tecna's. I didn't like Tecna's outfit, honestly, growing up. Like, I think that's why I didn't like Tecna. I just hated her outfit because what was that headpiece that she had on? Can somebody explain that to me? What was that? Was it like a hoodie? Was it a hoodie that they gave her or tried to give her? What was that? I, I don't understand. I really don't understand. So anyway, I'm not saying that my designs are perfect. There's a lot of things I need to fix in design. Like Stella's design, it started off as like a bikini thing and like I changed that completely in the end. So that's also a thing. Bloom's design, I hella like. Not the original original, my version, because I gave her armor. Cause so she's like a dragon slayer. Cause you know, she has a dragon flame. And like, I just wanted her to be a dragon slayer you can later in design I fix it up a lot I fix up her design a lot later on but anyway back to what I was saying I don't know I don't have a script so I, I I'm gonna get sidetracked a lot anyway <laughs> I wanted their designs to be very different from one another so while so Musa's design for example looks very different from from the other designs. I wanted Musa to have designs look more modern. I wanted Aisha's design to look more like she's like belongs in the ocean. Um, Stella's design, I wanted her to look like a goddess-like character. Bloom, I just said I wanted her to be like a knight, like a dragon slayer type thing. I'm, I'm really bad at like drawing armor, so like coloring armor, so it probably didn't, doesn't look like that. Um, Flora's design, I wanted her to be like a druid, like from D&D. &D. Like later on in the, design, in the speed paint, I um, redesigned her a lot, not a lot, a lot, but I gave her like pants and like a leaf shawl thing and like a flower crown, and, you know, just and like, and she has these like little antler things, like these little like um, branch antlers and I really like that. And, and with techno design, I wanted to have like a more um, cyberpunk aesthetic. And I didn't really do these designs in like a like specific way. Like I didn't like do like Aisha design fully first and then move on. No, I did. I picked out p bits and pieces I wanted to do, and I kept like jumping back and forth. So if this speed paint like is offhand, like if I'm talking about one character and like you see me like speed painting another character, that is the reason why. Um. So yeah, and also 
when I was streaming this on Twitch, um, people came and I was explaining like my ideas of the series. If they, if somebody like came up to me and be like, "Hey, I want you to redesign Waste Club and reboot it," I would just be like, "Ha ha! You came to the right person. Let me get my notebook. I don't have a notebook, but let's just say in this case I do." So the first thing I would do for the series is that the specialists wouldn't be in there. And if you don't know what the specialists were, they're basically like the boys of the group. And basically, I, I rewatched some of it, and basically, it was just like, I, I keep saying basically, right? And they were just like, they were just there to be like the girls' love interests, which is fine and all, but like, that's all they were there for. And also, I didn't like them. I didn't like them. I didn't like Riven. Riven sucked. I hated Riven. He treated Busa dirty. They were in a toxic ass relationship, and like they were trying to convince us, oh no, it's a good relationship. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. And I found out via Wiki- Wikipedia that they broke up, and I was like, good for you, Musa. You deserve better. I did not like Riven. Riven wore shirts that were too short, but not. They just showed up, showed up, basically where his beeline would be, and nothing more. Like if you're gonna shirt your shirt, your shirt, go full crop top or don't go anywhere at all. Like what is that? You, you're a coward. You don't want to show up your full crop top. Why? Because you know you suck. You know you don't deserve a crop top. Okay. okay. Nabu, Aisha's love interest, or Layla, whatever you want to go call her by, he was okay, but then they killed him, and then I think that was us. So, yeah. Stella's love interest, Brandon. They gave him the name Brandon. It's a basic name for, for a boy, honestly. He was not it. Um... Blue's love interest Sky, I get it, he's a prince. Like, he's supposed to be like in his bond and he has like that surface dude hair that every he had in the early 2000s. But again, he wasn't it. I did not like him. Um, again, basic love interest, just there to be a love interest. Um, Helia, I think Helia was cool. I liked his hair in the first season, but then they cut it and he just got very choppy and I was like, what the hell is that? Um, so I, I guess he can stay with Naboo. Naboo and him can stay. Um, Tuckness Love Interest, I hate it. He looked, he looked like an older Timmy Turner, and it didn't help that his name was also Timmy. Okay, it did not help. It didn't help. Okay, he looks like an older Timmy Turner, whose name is, whose, whose name is also Timmy. Okay, it's just, it's just like that. Just like that. If Timmy Turner got smart and went to a school, a school that turned him to be like a knight-like person, I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's, that's Timmy. That's, that's Timmy. I did not like so yeah, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> if I reboot it, they're gone. They're gonna be there in like one episode as a reference, and they're gone. Um, but yeah, they, I, they're just love interest. I didn't like them. Um, the second thing I would change, first of all, is that there should be male fairies. I vote there should be male fairies. It's kind of bullshit that only girls are fairies. And I've read somewhere that, oh, guys can be fairies too. And I'm like, where are the guys? Where are the guy fairies? I think this is bullshit. We need guy fairies. I almost said guy fiari. We need him too. He can be a voice actor in the show. It's fine. Um, um, anyway, <laughs> the second thing I would change now that they don't have love interest anymore, we need new love interest. I vote that Bloom and Stella be love interest to each other. And then, like, I had, like, some big brain energy moment where, like, during a stream, I was just like, oh, my God, what happens if Bloom and Icy, you know, the tricks, the tricks, the tricks also need to change, by the way. Um, what if Bloom and Icy from the tricks, you know, got together or, like, have, like, a catch door like, relationship? And but I also like Bloom and Stella. And somebody was just like, hey, well, and during the stream, somebody was like, hey, why don't they Stella, Bloom, and Icy have a, are in a poly relationship? And I was like, oh, that's a big brain energy. I like that. I like that. We're putting that in the series. We're putting that in the series. We're getting rid of Riven. He's going to be a carpet. Because that's what he deserves. He's a carpet now. That's what he is. I hated his hair, by the way. I hated his hair. So anyway, we, I should really get into like um, what I did during the speed paint. But anyway, I also wanted to change their powers too. You know, Techno had so many, so much capabilities with her powers as a fairy technology, but they didn't do any of it. And I don't blame them. Actually, I do blame them. She had the, she probably, I want her to have the ability to hack into anything. I mean, anything in the magical world, but only she has like a deep understanding of it. Like, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've ever watched watch Boku no Hero, but you know Momo from it? I think she, she has something like Momo where, you know, Momo has to understand something to like, it's like chemical level to like, and I want, and I want 
I want that for Tecna, where she has to understand it to like its most basic level to hack into it. But she's like super smart, so like why wouldn't she understand that? And it also applies to like her enemies and like her allies. Like she has to have like a deep understanding of her, their power and stuff to like hack into it and like try to like help it or like increase their abilities, like decrease the abilities. Like you know, it can't be like too overpowered. I don't know. We'll figure it out when they hit me up and be like, you want you to it, and I'll be like. Flores' Flores powers are again super OP. She's a fairy of nature. It could be OP as hell, but they didn't do it. Their powers. Bloom, fairy of the dragon flame. She was too OP. Okay. She was she was really overrated in the series. I did not like it. I think her and Aisha should have like very similar powers, but because like Bloom's fire, Aisha's water. I think Aisha should have something called like the Leviathan's like wave. Or like the Kraken's wave, where it's basically it's basically like the dragon's flame, but it's like two opposite, right? And Aisha has full control of it, but but Bloom does not have full control of her dragon's flame. Also, I think Bloom should go on trials to see if she deserves to wield the dragon's flame. And it could be this whole arc, you know, it could be this whole arc for her. But they didn't do it. You know why? Because they're cowards. Okay, fine. They're gonna block me on Twitter if they see this. It's fine. So anyway, Stella's powers, I think Stella's powers should be the same. I feel like her powers, she also have like some moon powers in there too. I feel like her powers are just basically about light and the sun. She's the fairy of the sun and moon, so she also, from Solaria, which I find out is about the sun, moons, and stars. So basically, she's all about astrology. Why didn't they put that in there? They should really put that in there, try to figure that out. I have not figured it out yet, so they should do it. Musa, I feel like she should be like a bard like play I don't know like you know like when she when she like plays music she has like the potential to like really like boost her like teammates up you know and also she can sound, send like sound waves to people like knock them out like hypnotize people with her music you know that kind of stuff I'm mean, like that would be so cool for her you know but they didn't do it they didn't do it I would do it they should hire me to reboot Wings Club I'm just saying I would make it so much better anyway I, when I was doing the speed paint like midway through, I was like, oh my god, the tricks. And I was like, that, that's too many characters for one speed paint. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So maybe in another speed paint, people like this speed paint, I'll redesign the tricks or something else. I don't know. I, I really like doing character redesigns. I redesigned um, Jenny from my life as a teenage robot during this. Not, but like as like a sketch and I posted it. You should guys should go check it out. The post, but I'm, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just saying. Anyway, the designs. I also wanted to give them weapons. <laughs> So, well, not all of them. Like, I, I gave Aisha and Bloom weapons. I gave Aisha a, a trident, because again, water, trident. I wanted the tips of her trident to be like water, like she makes them. She makes the tips of the trident like they're, ch they're changeable or something. And I didn't, I don't know if they look like water. They probably don't look like water. I probably failed at that, but whatever. I gave Bloom a sword, because again, I really wanted to lean into that Dragon Slayer aesthetic. Not like a fairy tale Dragon Slayer. I'm talking like Dragon Slayer from like from like old books and stuff or like play a dragon you know she's a knight she's a knight i base her design kind of off the specialist bloom's design not music. bloom's design um with a cape and like the and like the color skin kind of i wanted to change bloom's color skin because again it, it didn't make sense to me much more. musa i really liked this i really like musa's design um i gave her i gave her headphones and i gave her like this like turntable disc thing i don't know the disc i don't know you, i'm not a music person i don't know and I felt like it would be really cool if that if like that disc can change like for, like other instruments because again she's a fairy of music why wouldn't she like play other instruments and depending on what instrument she has like depending on what instrument she has like it can it has like different effects on different people you know like I feel like that would be really cool for her to have because again fairy of music they didn't do that and I thought you know they, they should have done that I'm just saying I'm just saying they should have done that. Um, her design changed the least from the, from its from her original design, and by original I mean I mean her first design when I redesigned her. It pretty much stayed the same, and I hella love it. I hella love how it came out. Honestly, I think it's I think it's hella cool. You know, I think it's hella cool. And yeah, you know she's my favorite design. And I also gave her like like the first note of. Um, welcome to the Black Parade on like the sleeve of her shirt, of her of her jacket, the the very first note, because I was like, this is iconic. Because <laughs> I, I really wanted to have music notes on her um, arm, but I wanted them to be accurate. 
but I don't, I'm not a music major. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know music. So yes, yeah, so this is a subtle, a subtle point, pull out, not pull out, um, point to my emo phase. So yeah. Also, Musa, I was like, I really love Musa. Also, so with Aisha's design, I wanted to lean into like that mermaid aesthetic, but I didn't want her to be a mermaid. So I gave, so with her, so I tried to give her like a skirt with like waves and stuff and like the end, of, the end of her leggings, I gave her like a, a fish fin and, and I gave her like those sparkles that you have or like kind of like a point, a, like a call out back to her, like her original design with the sparkles, but I wanted them to be like fish scales. You know how they shine and like glimmer, like I wanted it to be like that. Um, Stella's design, I wanted to be like, I wanted to base off like gods and goddesses because again, she is a fairy of the stars, the sun the moon and so yeah I gave her like I, if you look at her at Stella's heels I had, gave her wings like like a point out to like her knees and like her belt her belt has like a like a full moon and I try to make two crescent moons like right by it I don't know if you get that but I tried I tried I also gave Stella two prosthetic limbs I gave her a prosthetic arm and a prosthetic leg because they fight evil why wouldn't they lose a limb? It could be a, co a whole character arc. I'm just putting that out there. They did it for Yang and Ruby. They can do it for Stella. Stella was Bay. I love Stella. Stella. Flora. The Flora is probably my least favorite design. I tried my best with Flora's design. <laughs> it wasn't the greatest. Um, oh, Bloom's design. I referenced a lot of Fire Emblem art. Especially like, if you guys know Fire Emblem Three Houses, Edelgard, her like headpiece. I referenced that with Bloom. Because again, Bloom, I wanted to her to have like a dragon like theme and like some dragons have horns so that's something I put and also like a kind of a reference to like her gold tiara that she has in the original in her, her original original design but yeah I just I just really wanted to have her her had a bloom to have a cape and also on the back of the cape you can't see it because I didn't draw the back of the cape because I'm a coward she has like a dragon design on it because I thought that would be cool it's still cool in my head so yeah I also, um, yeah, that's what, that's what I did, that's what I did. And then I gave, I gave Flora more druid, I gave her pants, she needs pants. I've, I've knelt in grass, I didn't like it, she needs pants. I gave her pants, I changed up her design a very little, and she's also had braids, and I totally forgot about the braids until I like looked back in the speed paint, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just looking for braids, and I was like, oh well, I'm just done now. Techno, I want Techno to have a, a very much a cyberpunk theme. I don't know if I succeeded in that, but I tried. And that's, that's what counts. A for effort for me. <laughs> and then I gave, um, and I gave her like this like iron, like, I wanted, I wanted Techno to look like an android. I don't know if I did that or not, or if succeeded. Let's just say I succeeded in it. Um, I have nothing really else to say about the speed paint except like I hella enjoyed drawing this. Um, Wings Club was a huge part of like a year of my life because I, I loved it. I used to go on four kids every day back when four kids was a thing. I don't know if four kids is still a thing or not. But I personally still really love Wings Club and I try to do them justice in, in this design. I don't know if I did them justice. Hopefully I did. Hopefully you guys think I did them justice. But I personally don't know. <laughs> I just honestly tried my best. And I really like how the designs turned out. Um, personally. There's some things I, I really could have changed in this. There's some things that could have stayed the same. And there are some things that, you know, um, probably could be better. Probably could change. But... I don't know. I really like the way it came out. I try to do justice with their wings too. During this week, I kind of forgot they had wings, and I was like, "Oh shit, they have wings." Uh, Technus wings were my least favorite to do. I tried to give them like glitchy effect, and it didn't work out. But that's more so on me. I just don't, I'm not good at doing glitchy effects. I also gave Technus like screens around her because again, fairy technology. She's a fairy technology. Why didn't they give her like screens around her and everything? I don't know. It would be cool in my. It was. It's cool in my head. I don't know. I also gave Techno like space boots because again I wanted to lean into that cyberpunk aesthetic. I'm not good at cyberpunk. You guys decide if Techno's design is good or not. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of iffy about Techno's redesign, honestly. It's not my least favorite design of all these, but 
it's definitely down there but I, I i try to do do her justice i don't know if i did her justice but i tried and that's that's the most important part i tried i tried my best <laughs> I tried my best also with Bloom's armor and like, <coughs> ooh, I, I'm coughing. And like the engravings on it. I wanted gold engravings on it too. But yeah, that's my speed paint. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of it. I'm sorry I didn't talk this whole time. I should probably make a script. I'm not going to make a script. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the characters I redesigned. I really enjoy the redesign. I also had to record this recording a couple times because my family was loud. So yeah <laughs> um yeah and if you guys want to watch me draw or like follow my twitch where i stream pretty much oh i have to stream today actually shit and and also follow my social media platforms where i post other stuff you can see my sketch of jenny from my life as teenage robot when i redesigned her yesterday i redesigned her yesterday so that's cool i did that and yeah, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint. I hope you guys look forward to more speed paints in the future. And let's just see how all of this goes. I am honestly really confused about YouTube. I kind of want to do it as like a full-time thing, but also I'm in school. So the best I can do is like post like once a month, <laughs> which is honestly a lot better than how it used to be when it used to be like, what, like once every like eight months, you know? It wasn't good. So let's hope this is a long thing of redesigns and artwork. And also if you follow my Instagram, sometimes I put up things where like you can vote of like which video I do next. Next video I think is like my D and D characters. So that should be fun for people to watch. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint. Hope you guys enjoy these characters. Hope you guys maybe rewatch Wings Club. I, I couldn't rewatch Wings Club. I hope you guys rewatch Wings Club. Um and yeah, I'm gonna go watch my life as a teenage robot. Enjoy the rest of this beef paint. Have a good time. Peace out.